right, so I just unloaded with the forklift here our newest project. This is an RSI Smart Cap. It just came in. Um, the RSI stuff's awesome, but it takes forever to get. So here's the uh, Evo Sport Cap for the Gladiator. That's the kitchen. This is a table that stores inside, and this is a full bin for uh, driver's side. So we're gonna get all that put in here. It's gonna be pretty awesome. I've been waiting for it. I'm excited. I also want to see if it's worth uh, $4,200 for the cap. And I paid full retail for this. At the time, we didn't have a connection on these. Since I ordered it, we got a connection on these. So if you need them, I can sell them to you now. But at the time, I paid full retail, uh, $4,200 for this thing, plus freight to get it here. But it's supposed to be awesome, so I guess we'll find out. Uh, kitchen is pretty nice, too. So we're going to get it all together. Let's get them opened up, see what it looks like. All right, so this cap is some assembly required or all assembly required. It comes in a bunch of different boxes. And from what I read on the internet, people say about four hours to put one together. So I'm hoping it's a lot less than that. I don't see anything on smart cap site about how long it takes. So I'm hoping Seth can do it in 15 minutes. I'll probably expect it done in 15 minutes, but it'll probably take a couple hours. So we're going to get started on it. So as you can see, it wasn't a big deal unboxing them. Everything is boxed awesome. Maybe if it's shipped from Africa, I believe. So you can see this is the uh, back wall of the cab wall. This is one side, the other side. This is the back door here. This is the roof. I hope it's all in one piece. We're about to open it up right now. So uh, I think that'll be pretty sweet. We're gonna do that and then we're gonna start putting this thing together. So the next thing I wanna open is the camp kitchen i was pretty excited about this i don't know how much we'll use it if we don't use it i'll end up just using it for a bin and selling everything else out of it but we're going to check it out here it's supposed to be kind of cool and it's about a thousand more dollars than a bin an empty bin is about 500 bucks the kitchen's about 1500 bucks so a thousand more dollars it's got a little stove and a bunch of dishes and things we'll find out I'm excited to get this thing mounted on there and check it out. Just real quick, it's got glasses and pans and cups and all this. I think that's coffee stuff. I'm not a coffee drinker, but I got a fold down stove here that folds out and gets out of the way. Behind that, we got spices, it's a little bit dark, and there we go. We got some cutlery, silverware, cutting board, propane stuff. It should be kind of cool, and I'm hoping it saves us some room in the Gladiator. So the next thing is a fold down table we're gonna open up and then one of the storage bins. And hopefully by then, Seth has the cap put together. So we got our first two corners together and something I'll share with you here. We were looking for hardware, but in the directions it does talk about it. You have to remove all of this hardware from here. It's already installed. So you take them all out so you can reuse them when you bolt the two back together. So we're gonna get a bunch of these sides bolted together loosely get the top on it and before we snug anything up. So it's pretty self-explanatory. You're just bolting the sides together. All right, so we got this thing all bolted together. Seth's getting it set to torque. We got all these bolts in here to do. These are all set at five Newton meters for you Canadians out there. I don't know what that is in foot pounds and I don't care because mm -hmm. Seth's putting it together. 3.7 foot pounds, Seth says. So it's upside down. That's how you build it. Don't try to build it right side up. I tried, it didn't go well. Read the directions, people, come on. So now we gotta torque all these bolts up. We got our nice little seal on here they give you. And then we gotta find four men around here and we gotta put this thing up on here. So the next time you see it, it's either gonna be just like this or it's gonna be up on the Gladiator. Let's do it. All right, so we got this thing sitting on the truck now. It's not crazy heavy, but it's heavy. It's a, it's a, a three-man job for being better but uh here it is sitting down we're gonna to bolt it down now We've got the gall wing doors open it's pretty sweet i like it nice fit nice seal so far when we get it pulled down it's gonna fit even better so we're gonna get that brought down and then get our bins in the side so as soon as we get all that done we'll show you that all right so now that we got this thing all bolted on we're over here at the lake in its natural habitat We'll do a walk around, I'll show you what we got. So on the driver's side here, we got really high quality, awesome latches, love them. 
When we open it up, we've got just an empty storage bin on this side. So we can put our scottle, other cooking stuff's gonna be in here, whatever other supplies we might need. That's all gonna be on this side. We added a couple stickers from some of our YouTube people that we follow. So that's what this window's gonna be. We're gonna YouTube sticker this one out. And then on the back side here, we've got still awesome latches. And this one here, the kitchen side, came with a pretty cool little mole panel. And then up top here, we uh, got the table feature. So it's got a nice little safety lock. And then it pushes out, pulls out. And up top here, it's actually a pretty nice table. Folds in and out of here. So it's a easy setup table, aluminum legs, steel top. Really nice table, sets up awesome. It just goes right back up in and out of here. I'm a pretty big fan of that. It doesn't rattle, it's out of the way. Pretty cool. Got nice little safety latches on it. Awesome piece. And then on this side, still same latches that are on all of them, love it. We got the kitchen on this one. So I don't know how often we're gonna use this. We're gonna feel it out because we're big scottle people. And we also a lot of times use our uh, jet boil stuff. We love that. But we got a double burner. Then inside here, it's got all of your utensils. It's got your, your forks, knives, spoons, tongs, spatula bowls, your cups. And it's even got wine glasses. I'm probably never gonna use the wine glasses, but at least we have them. It's got some nice metal bowls. We haven't even unwrapped these yet. And stainless plates. Pretty cool. None of this stuff rattles, which I was cool. We drove it around listening in the back. Nothing makes any noise. Everything's got a nice little tight foam spot, so nothing's moving around. So I'm a fan. My, I have one and a half complaints on it, really. My number one complaint is availability. These things take six months to get. My half a complaint really is the price, 4,200 bucks for the cap. This kitchen, like I said, was like 1,600 bucks, $500 for the empty bin. I don't think the price is that out of line. I mean, a good rack will cost you $1,500. So at four grand, it's not, not the end of the world to me. I don't think it's bad. A fiberglass cap is $3,000, 2,800. This thing, I like it so much more than a fiberglass cap. You can jump on the roof of this thing. It's built just like this truck is. It's probably built better than the truck, to be honest with you. It's probably less wind noise, less rattles, and less water leaks than a brand new Jeep. So it's built better than a Jeep. I can't really say that about a good fiberglass cap. So I like this thing a lot. Um, we can now sell any of these. When I ordered this, I paid full retail price. Now I can sell these. So if it's something you're interested in, reach out to us. I can hook you up with them. So that was it. I would spend the money again if I was getting one. If you're looking for something like this, I think the RSI Smart Cap is an awesome solution for an overlanding problem on your Gladiator. That was it. Like and subscribe and have a good one.